Hello and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal where, where last time we went to a different dimension, I think, I don't know, and then we explored we explored a castle and we met up with a cat who I've actually I've learned from the comments. Also, it's probably policy. I don't know. I don't know if I'm if I'll if I'll be penalized. I don't, I don't know if there's an active day night cycle in, in in the sense that like I don't know if I'll be penalized time wise for just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just to be safe. I'm, I'm just to be safe. I'm gonna do, I'll do this on the pause screen. I, I found out from the comments that apparently that cat Morgana, despite ha, despite the, what the voice may want you to think, apparently that was act, that was actually a, a dude. That, that 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 cat was a guy. I would never have been able to call that in a million years, but apparently, apparent apparently that Morgana is a he. Uh, never would have guessed that. Anyway. It was a lot of insane stuff, as per usual. It, 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 it'd be easier if you guys just go check out the last episode than it would be for me to explain it all, because too much insanity happened last episode for me to be able to properly recap it all. So, you know, by all means, go check out the last episode if you want to see what happened. But uh, now we've returned from from the crazy dimension, and we're, we're continuing our school life where we need to go to the faculty office. I don't know where the faculty office is, but... I, I'm just gonna look around. Okay, my map is my map. Tell me where that is not the map. That's not what that is. The map would be here. I uh, this is no. Okay, so there's a. I'm guessing that's the, you know this doesn't mean anything. You'd think that you think the faculty offices would be somewhere on this floor, right? But I, I guess I'll, there, there didn't seem to be any symbol indicating it up here. Is there, is there anything? Is there anything up here that I can use to my advantage? Uh, is it? Oh, wait, there's a two D room. There's a room. It's, 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 the map specifically calls out 2D, which is interesting, because the classrooms over here are all labeled 2B, 2C, but it's drawing special attention to classroom 2D. I'm guessing that's because this is going to be the classroom where we end up going most of the time, but I don't know for sure. I guess we'll find out. Uh, WC, what, what, do, what, do, what, what does that stand for? You know, let's go find out, I guess. Let's go find out what WC stands for all the way down here. Uh, bathrooms, I guess? Okay, they just don't want you to know where anything is, do they? Like, they, they really do not want you to be able to figure out where the hell you're supposed to be going in this goddamn building. Well, I, anywhere in this game, really. I've, I've, I've resorted to checking literally every door, hoping that one of these will let me in somewhere. I, there's, there's, there's no kind of indicator on- you're standing- you can't go in that door. There's no kind of indicator on the map whatsoever. I mean, there are things, like there's a yellow dot in the center, and then there's a WC and the 2D. None of those are anything to help me at all, so I don't know where the hell we're supposed to be going. Let's just keep checking doors. Oh, okay, here it is. We found it. There we go. We found the faculty office. All right then. Oh, that this is this looks like an arts and crafts room. Unbelievable. Being over half a day late on your first day. Can you explain yourself? Yeah, I got teleported to a different dimension. I got <laughs> um I got lost is technically correct without sounding too insane. For this long, it's almost lunchtime. Well, since the map was was made by someone who doesn't understand how directions work, can you blame me? Well, it's probably true that you're not used to the area yet, but you're still way too late. That'd be the castle's fault. That that one's on the castle. Together, you were given fair warning yesterday. I actually tried to pull myself apart when I ripped the mask off my face, but you know, that's whatever. More important, I heard that you were caught along with that Sakamoto coon. get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Anyway, break's almost over. Classes will end after fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. I feel like we'll we'll probably be pretty close. If I'm if I'm over half a day late, I feel like I she, let me make sure I'm not mistaken that she she did say I'm over half a day late, right? Uh yeah, okay. Oh, we're having- I feel like- I feel like at this point I'm probably- we're probably getting pretty close to fifth period if I'm over half a day late. So what- am I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be here for like half a period? Maybe? By the way, when you introduce yourself, be serious about it even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. What would you deem to be an unnecessary tidbit of information about myself, outside of the obvious? Huh? <laughs> Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Did I read that correctly? Did that say sh sharp-eared female student? Not to be confused with short-haired female student. Okay. I. All right. Those those are some 
Those are some NPC names. Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. What? So we went from sharp-eared to, to short-haired to well-behaved. Got it. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. Brown-haired, gaudy male. What else we got? What, what, other, what, what, other, what, other, what other descriptions do we have of all these students? Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. <laughs> I can't get over how dumb this name is. Why? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you have a the club, you've ruined me. We had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right. Please say something to the class. Well, no point in saying that because you already told me my name, so nice to meet you. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it. I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh. So... I'm still- I still can't wrap my head around. Like, surely, surely these people would- would- like, someone would have communicated the context of, of the situation I was in, right? Surely someone, pro not to mention the person who we helped, would probably be like, yeah, so there's a whole lot of context that you guys are leaving out of what happened there. Your seat will be... over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> You know, for a well-behaved student, you're looking a little, uh, rough around the edges there. Uh, okay. Hello, Miss... M um, bad decision maker, for lack of a better term. Yeah, let's get into the car with a creepy man who definitely has nothing but pure intentions. What could possibly go wrong with that ingenious plan? Ooh, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? No, but some other things happen with someone else that you might want to be aware of. I mean, she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. What? What? Wait, what? Again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Rewind. You were you said that very casually. For real. That side of the room is totally awful. Hold on. I need to read that again. I need to read that again. She's cheating on him with... Uh, you, you sound very casual about that. I'm not sure you've thought through what you've just said. Oh, right. The volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well, then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. Okay, this game is crazy. Re really the- what? What? Uh, what? Oh, do we- Okay, are we- are we phasing in between dimensions? So what I was gonna say, the only real critique that I have is cause like, obviously the game's insane, right? Like, this game is insane so far. But the- but most of my reactions are just me being like, I don't understand what's happening. But the only like, actual proper critique that I have so far is I really don't like the way the navigation is handled. Um, there- there's no real like- Like, for instance, when I was trying to find the faculty office, there wasn't any kind of indication as to where I was like, supposed to be going, which is which just resulted in me like going door to door trying to figure out where the hell I was supposed to go. Not a fan of that, but beyond that, I'm I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens so far. Anyway, <laughs> if you want to sound like an idiot, is this a castle? It's like that meme with the butterfly. Is this a castle? I mean, the other answer was also I'm equally, sure or okay. yeah, the other question was also equally stupid because it's like, am I in a school? But you know. Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but. I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura's son sounded pretty angry. Oh, and about sakamoto -kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. You know, for a teacher, you, you you're speak you're not very kind to your students. It was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black either. Sorry about that. I did notice that. Huh. Interesting. I, I didn't actually think about that. Everyone's hair is the exact same color, which I guess you might be able to chalk that up to like budgeting reasons. Uh, but I guess it also can serve a story purpose in in the in, in the in the same way. But. I didn't actually think about that. That's, see, hmm. So, I have, like, when I was in high school, I think there was a rule that you weren't allowed to dye your hair any unnatural colors. I'm pretty sure that was a rule. 
Um, because I, th I think someone actually got in trouble for dyeing their hair. But what I've not heard is that everyone has to proactively dye their hair the exact same color. That's a new one. Haven't heard of that one before. Sounds... Okay. See, that's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? What he asked me to go up to the roof that if you knew the places we went today, the rooftop would Oh He's already started associating with Sakamoto. Why can I catch a break? Can I catch a second to like chat to chat with people for a second? Okay. If you knew the places we've been to today, or the rooftop, least insane place she, he could have asked to take me. Also okay, now on to you. You mm, so as I mentioned yesterday, I'm pretty sure it's two different people. Like, instead of it being one person who shares a consciousness that just, like, shifts between dimensions, like we did, I'm pretty sure it's two different people because, uh, and the logic I used was that if it was the same person who just teleported between dimensions, then everyone in school would, would have been wondering where he was all day, because they, they freaked out over us being gone. But no one se seemed to care about him, so I'm assuming he was here the whole time. So it's gotta be two different people in two different dimensions. So... You know, maybe, maybe it's, it's not, well, no, actually, I will say that. I was gonna say it's not nice to cast the aspersions, because obviously the guy in the other dimension was a complete whack, whack job. Uh, so maybe it's not nice. It, it, it'd be wrong to cast aspersions against this guy for the things that that guy did. But this guy is having relationships with students. So, we got two different, we got two different levels of awful here, people. We got, we got one guy in one dimension who's locking people up in dungeons and walking around in his, his underwear, chopping people's heads off with an army of knights. And then in another dimension, we got someone who's having relationships with students. I did. Why? Why is 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 your is your character just destined to suck in every dimension? Like why? How, what is this? With a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case. At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamashiro Kun. You are our star. Really? Really? He he he's your star? Still. A steady build-up is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. I'll continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. Sakamoto so seems eager to talk about something. We should meet him on the rooftop. All right, well, at least I know how to go there. That, that I can just go up and eventually get to where I have to go. So let's keep on heading up top. Oh no, don't go, don't go back. Don't go back. Yeah, that uh, has an off-limit sign posted up, but it looks like the door is unlocked. One other minor thing, uh, if the camera suddenly changes angles like that, it doesn't, um, on, it doesn't immediately adjust your controls, by which I mean, when I, if the camera's behind me when I walk up the steps, uh, and then when I get to the top of the steps, the camera cuts to a different angle to where it, the the character is facing the camera instead of the camera being to the to the character's back it will not adjust my controls so my input for walking forward up the steps will carry over into that second camera angle and force me back down the stairs sometimes so uh, it's the same kind of thing happened in the subway station it's, it's not a major thing but it is kind of annoying to some extent anyway what's the deal with you why does everyone hate you sorry for calling you up here like this I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like don't get involved with him huh also, the door to the roof is unlocked. Interesting. Yeah, she said you're trouble. <laughs> We're pretty much in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah, they're all talking about the thing. Not, they're not talking about the thing that we sh that they should be talking about. No wonder you were so gutsy. Oh wait, do you actually know the context behind what happened? What was all that that happened? You know how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. What can I say except this is crazy? But man, that Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. Yeah, uh, trust me, I've heard. Yeah, the ripped mop head. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. 
Maybe not. Maybe 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 not. Maybe maybe we do, maybe go to the bowling alley. You know, if you, well, I'm happy to spend more time with you. Maybe 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 we should try to go to places and spend time together in places that aren't absolutely insane. Maybe try that on for size. Get it. it. Must have all been a dream. It has. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. <laughs> we are not so different, you and I. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, all right? Wasn't planning on it. See I don't think I'll be allowed to even if I wanted to. Yeah, so I've, I've heard some rumors about him. Although, based on how that student acted in class, I'm not sure you can qualify it as a rumor anymore, but... I guess we'll see what's happening there. Oh, now we're back here. Now we get to deal with, with Grouchy McGroucherson. Hey, I got a call from the school. I hear you ditched half a day on your first day of school. Not how I would put that, but okay. I, yeah, literally couldn't help it. Yeah, yeah, that's what everyone says when they're caught. That is not what everyone says when they're caught. That is not at all what everyone says when they're caught. D I'm getting a sense of my dialogue isn't actually changing anything, because that, that feels like a response to what you'd say if... Like, had I said, because one of the options was, I'm sorry. Had I said, I'm sorry, that would, that response would make sense. But, not so much of what I actually said. Look, just behave yourself. One wrong step, and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? Good. Hey, yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll head over in half an hour, as promised. What are you standing around for? Get upstairs and go to bed already. No. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. This, 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 this dude. I swear to God. Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? Yep, I'm leaving now. What? I'm going to bed before you, but I'm responsible for turning all the lights off and locking up the. Bro, oh, this man. I told you, he's a part timer. Alright, just a gentle reminder that the person we're staying with is an absolute ass clown, but, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, are we gonna have another wacko dream sequence in Despicable Me Land? I feel exhausted, maybe it's because of all the weird stuff that's been happening to me. Yeah, let's go to sleep. And hope that things don't happen. D don't take me to crazy dream world. Oh no. Oh no. No, not again. Not again. Oh no, now what? Uh, yep, yeah, we're back in crazy dream world again. Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reading. I can't get over that character design. It's just, it's, oh my god. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. Just a gentle reminder that this game is absolutely crazy. I had another strange dream. Fate and awakening. 
More importantly, I need to hurry and get ready for school. I have to talk to... Oh, dear God. I'm flipping the sign again. So, wait. Do I have to walk to school every day? That'd be pain. Okay, no. I think... I think... Okay. Good. I, I, I was a little worried that I was going to have to autom like manually walk along the same path to school every day. Thankfully, it appears that this is going to be automatic for every day that wasn't the first one. Happening a lot lately? All these accents are because people are suddenly losing their minds, right? Screenslaver style. Look, isn't that her? I, I love I love these student names. Ponytail student. You mean that one with the red ribbon? Sleepy student. What? It's like it's like we're dealing with the seven dwarfs. Like grumpy, sleepy, bashful. Da 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 da. Oh, really? I, I would never have been able to guess it from your literal name. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? That was a strange conversation to have. Please, take my seat. Student with ribbon in hair. And the hits just keep on coming. This lady. Oh. Want me to? What? <laughs> Could you be any creepier? Want me to wake him up? No, let's not say that. It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Ain't it heavy though? Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. I... All, all, all I said was, hey, you should say something. Yeah, with what? For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a what? second year at Shujin Academy, correct? What? First year <laughs> wait, 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 what? Wait, wait a minute. Okay. So let's review. So what happened on the train? I was I was gonna say that that, that was a weird exchange to have on the train, but the, but then I was gonna say that because they actually gave that character a a model like like a, a drawing instead of just <laughs> instead of just the text saying ponytail student, which still has, but I'm guessing we're gonna get her name at some point because she apparently has plot relevance. I was gonna say we're meeting a lot of new plot relevant characters. But then she walked up to me and said, Oh, hey, thank you so much for what you did earlier. I'm like, I didn't do anything. I just, I, I literally said, you should say, so. it's not like I, it's not like I walked up to the guy and slapped him ceiling until he woke up and got out of the seat. I just said, hey, you should like maybe say something. It's like, I didn't, I didn't tell you anything. You didn't probably already know. What, what do you, what? Okay. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll take a compliment where I didn't earn one. Sure. Why not? And I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me. Okay, I, that, you just walked right through me, okay. That was a weird conversation. I, I get a sense, like, I, I, I think someone said in the comments of a previous episode that we're still, oh wait, did I walk past the school? Uh, oh, let's go up here. Yeah, go to Student Academy. I, I seem to have made it to school safely. What was that castle, though? I, I don't, I have no idea. So I think someone said that we're still in the tutorial mode for this game. Class is starting. So I don't even know, I, like, we're, we're still, this is still the, we're, it's episode three, and we're still in the tutorial levels. So we're still meeting all the characters, learning how everything works. This is just crazy. I'm the social studies teacher, or Mr. Ushimaru, I'll be teaching you the rules of society this, this year. <laughs> you all look like you've been spoiled growing up, can't wait to see who disappoints me the most this year. And we're, wow, you're just a bucket full of sunshine, aren't you? A, sun, a certain dictionary d defines a year as a period of 365 disappointments. Wow, ju wow, just a... Oh boy, howdy. The book's title is about as, as cynically satirical as the rest of it. It's The Devil's Dictionary by Ambrose Bierce. Hey, new kid. What's the answer? Tell me what the Devil's Dictionary defined as the chief factor in the progress of the human... I don't know the answer to that. What? Tell me what the... Tell me what the devil's dict. Okay, well, if it's the devil's dictionary that you think it'd be villains, right? This is it. 
Correct. Male. F okay, that was a complete long. That was a complete long shot. You actually knew that. I did not actually know that. No, I did not. I have no idea what you're talking about. Actually, I just took a. I just took a guess, and it was apparently correct. Sure, villains can affect the course of history, but remember that this definition is sardonic witticism, nothing more. Here in the real world, villains don't push humanity forward. All they do is spread chaos and strife. I'm glad you chose words that aren't that word. Uh, wow, he got it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Black-haired student? That's... Wait, no, it's not everyone. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, so that was just a lie. Wait a minute. Okay, so everyone in the hall... Okay, so I take it back. So, when we were in the hall earlier, and the teacher asked him to, to dye his hair, and I looked around, I'm like, oh, wait, yeah, everyone has, everyone has black hair. But I'm looking around more, I'm like, wait, that's not even true at all, because some people have gr gray hair, some people have I, that was just, okay, now, okay, now I'm even more confused than I was already, as if that was somehow possible. Uh, you got it right, is he really a criminal? I, I took a shot in the dark. So he seems like a punk, but maybe he's actually, uh, the, the clues, okay. So he said the Devil's Dictionary, so you knew it wasn't going to be any of the other things. It had to have been something with malfeasance involved in some capacity. I feel like I got a little smarter from being able to answer that question. Did, did I? Did I really? What the hell? What is this? What? Point up. What? Oh, I- Oh, the, oh that was a- th Oh, that did a- th Oh, that did a thing. Uh, oblivious, milk toast, bumbling, inoffense- Okay, so we have knowledge, guts, proficiency, kindness, and charm. Welcome to Fallout, everybody. Okay. I guess I, I I did a thing. I know you've heard all of uh, you've all heard the reports of these agitators stirring up trouble. We don't have any room for criminals here. Not in the school. Not in society. Am I clear? You changed your tune quite significantly. Oh, that was a quick. Oh, that was a quick day. That day went by lightning fast. Wait, am I supposed to be moving somewhere? I can't. I cannot seem to move. Am, I to, am I supposed to progress the text? Oh, okay, I'm supposed to progress the text. Wow, that girl in the ribbon is really thin. Is she a first year? The delinquent uh, and the honor student arriving at the same time? Uh-oh. Assault, blackmail, drugs, he's done it all. I hear he carries around a knife. Just okay. Hey there, Takamaki. Oh, joy, my favorite. Really dangerous lately with all those accidents. Mm -hmm. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. Um, buddy, you're you're like an adult. And, and she's like a student at a high school. What are you saying right now? You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes. I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. <laughs> sorry, what? what? You? <laughs> I, sorry. Yeah, so my, I'm, ble I'm bleeding out of my skull, but you know, I've been too busy to go. I know I know that's not what she said. I'm, I'm exaggerating. I get that she, I, she said she has appendicitis, not, not anything, but she's not. I, what I... I'm making an exaggeration to exacerbate the point of, oh, I have a very serious thing going on right now, but, you know, my schedule's just so busy, I can't go to the hospital. Oh, what's that? I'm having a heart attack right now? Pfft, I'm too busy to go to the hospital. It's fine. It's, it, every, every, everyone feels a little panicky every now and again. What's, what, what's a heart attack ever done to anyone? No, go to the hospital. Appendicitis hospital. What do you do? I can't. It must be lonely, too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record after all. If something were to happen to you. Then I have to resort to no, that's actually I that can't make that I that's nope. 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 Uh, nope. Excuse me. I was gonna say that he that if something would happen to her, he'd have to resort to something else, but that not nope. Nope. I, th I think you can use your imagination on that to, f to fill to finish the joke. Hello. What's up? I want to talk about that castle from yesterday. I tried telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. It's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And, you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so... You in? Sure. What could possibly go wrong? Nice. <laughs> okay, glad we're in this together. I 
think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other weird buildings on the way. Ryuji doesn't seem like a bad guy. She'll probably just go along with this. Yeah. I don't see anything bad happening as a result of this ingenious plan. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? We walked that way from here, right? When you put it that way, I'm not so sure anymore. All right, this way. Let me know if you notice something. You know, this just seems like a bad idea. We're at school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Ah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. I okay. Is the inevitability here the way that we go home? Is that why he keeps popping up as an option? Come on, you gotta stick with me to the end. Let's go. I don't think that doesn't know then. For real? Is it smaller than we think it is? What do you think? Check on your phone. Well, I mean, that's what happened last time is the phone app did its weird thing, so I guess that. I already did that. I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? Now we're getting somewhere. I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like returned to the real world or something like that? Let me see your phone for a bit. What's this eyeball looking thing? Yeah, cute logo, huh? I can't delete it. It's, it's not going away. What a weird app. Oh, wait, this is it. I knew it. It is a navigation app. There's even your search history. Oh, man, I'm such a genius. Let's try using it. Why? All we're doing is starting an app. Tamoshida. Shujin Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. There we go. And then we went in a certain direction. Hey, what are you... Huh? What the hell? And now we're back in spooky dimension. That's a pretty cool transition, transition, I gotta be honest. That looks it's really cool to see that. I still don't know what the hell's going on or what what the story is with these dimensions or anything, but it's... It back. That means what happened yesterday was for real, too. The transition's cool. Yeah, that was close. That happened last time, too, huh? That's what that outfit. Yeah. The, the, uh, okay. You like it? What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all. Hey. Stop making a commotion. Oh God, I can't unhear that. I can't unhear. It. Okay. So someone pointed out in yesterday's episode that the person who voices Morgana is also the same person who voices Aoi Asahina from. Danganronpa, and now I can't, I can't unhear that. You? Because to be honest, the shadow started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. I, I thought she sounded familiar, so, and I was actually like, I was trying to find the voice actor, like I was searching up my phone during the cutscenes. I was unsuccessful in trying to find out who it was because I was, I was just scrolling through the IMDb list and it didn't, didn't yield any useful results. But someone actually did, did tell me in the last episode who it is that voices this character, and oh boy howdy, I can't, I, no chance of unhearing that now. To think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. But it 
It's a castle. This castle is the school, but only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida. It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense. I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. What did you say? <laughs> what was that? It must be the slaves captive here. For real? <laughs> oh shit, it's for real. We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. Like, like, I know I'm supposed to be paying attention to the dialogue and how everyone's tor hor like suffering horribly and all that, but I just, I can't. I, it's, it's, I just, it's one of, it's one of those things. Like, once someone points it out to you, like you listen to it normally the first time, and then someone tells you a thing about it. it's like, hey, have you ever noticed how this is actually this thing, and then you just cannot unhear it. It's ingrained into your brain at that point. I don't know. That son of a bitch. Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamushita? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! It's Morgana! Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. It's settled then. For real? Thanks, man. All right, let's do this. Follow me. This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. So, uh, sorry for dragging you into all of this. Yeah, this really is all your fault, isn't it? I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Really, though, thanks for coming along. I guess it's kind of like Tails in a way. Because when I was a kid, I, I, I thought for sh I, I honestly thought that Tails was, Tails was a girl. Then I grew, then I grew up and I'm like, oh wait, it's actually a guy. It's just voice. Who's just voice? Who just has a? He's actually vo voice actor instead of voice actor. So I was incorrect on that. But it's it's kind of the same thing here. It's like Morgana. M Morgana is not voiced by a guy. It's voiced by the same the, the same person who voiced Aoi Asahina and Dangan Rampa, which I cannot unhear now. Uh, so I I, I, I thought for, I thought for sure that Morgana was a girl, but I was incorrect. I was very much incorrect. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, all right? Follow me. Okay, I foresee this ending very badly, but, you know, we'll give it a uh... shot. <laughs> I've seen Devil or something just now. What Was that Chujin? I told you before, this place is your school. Regardless, we don't have the time to stand around. Who knows when a shadow might show up? Come on, this way. Also, we're leaving pink. It's like we're stepping in an invisible pink puddle with every step we take. And unfortunately, the color pink has also been ruined for me by a certain other game franchise. <clears throat> what? Nothing. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be guards here. Looks like we're going to have to start fighting our way forward. Mm. Oh boy. I'll just teach you the basics of battle for now. You'd better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. You'll need to rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard, allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. Attacking enemies. When you attack a nearby enemy by pressing X, a battle will begin. Watch for a red icon to appear when you are in range. If you approach the enemy from behind without being noticed, the ambush icon will appear. Attack at that moment for an edge in battle. So, we want to get the jump on him and make the first strike. Okay, got it. 
Uh, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. But anyway, let's go. <sighs> okay. So can I hide here? Wait for you to turn around, start walking that way. Go, go, go. And attack now! Nice! Okay, that, that went, I mean, that was, that was, obviously that was an easy one, but... Um, oh, wow. So is your, so... Okay, so I, I was wondering, like, so does, does ambush mean that you get to, like, deal damage out of the gate? Or does it, or does it mean you have a first turn? The answer is, it means you get to attack first. Okay. So, crypt, crypt dwelling pyromaniac. So I don't, I don't know how any of the actual, um... I, I, I don't, I don't actually know how the, the... Like, I, I, I don't have the, the weaknesses committed to memory or anything. I'm, we're still... I don't know if you noticed. We haven't, we haven't had a lot of battles so far. So, we're, the, the whole way these skills work is not fresh in my mind. So, we're just gonna... We're gonna do a straight-up attack first. And then I'm gonna count on Morgana to do the rest. Finish the job. Yep. Okay, so yeah. So, as long as we can successfully ambush, we'll probably be pretty... We'll probably be okay. Got some money. I haven't had a chance to use that money yet, but I'm, I'm sure we will at some point. And level up. Okay. Okay. One down. I'm assuming there's more somewhere in the future. Okay, head to the cells. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before. Where'd they go? Quiet down. Oh yeah, there were more of them further in too. They might have been transferred already. Crap, I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Hey, let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. Oh, you mean the door with the, with the wibbly wobbly wave portal door surround- or portal frame surrounding? Yeah, I'm sure nothing bad will happen when we step through this door. I'm sure it won't be phased out of existence. Oh, I guess we weren't. The shadows probably won't come in here. P probably. How very reassuring. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. Oh, I've gathered that, trust me. I've, I've gathered that he thinks he's the king of his own castle. The master of his domain, if you will. This because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> that son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault. I don't know what happened between you, okay. but don't let your emotions get bit of a deeper story you. there. But um, I mean, we haven't really had a whole lot of interactions with him. But from what few interactions we have had, both with his actual self and his twisted alternate dimension de demon self. Not really liking either one of them. Gotta be honest. They both kind of seem terrible. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it too. All right, let's make a deal. You tell me the story between you and and that guy, and then I'll tell you the story about my clothes. See, this is a great deal for me because I don't actually have anything to tell you about my clothes, but I, but I can make up a really fantastical story that he'll probably believe anyway. So easy, easy deal. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. Uh, I'm so fed up with all this. I'm more curious about you than his clothes. What the hell are you anyway? I'm a human. An honest-to-God human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. Are you gonna be Anne? This is well, it's because I lost my true form. You're gonna be that girl from earlier, aren't you? I think. That that's who you're gonna be, aren't you? I think. But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught though. 
Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshida too. I think that's a truthful statement, but I'm not sure you could have phrased it a bit. Torture, correct, but maybe not in the traditional sense that you're thinking of. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry. Then you are gonna be massively disappointed. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, yeah, great. So, so, so if anyone attacks us, we can blink him to death. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. Get! Medicine 1, Kachev 1. Also, the, um... So... There are probably still sentries making their rounds out there. The the idea they're going for with Kamashi. Okay, can I let's, let's skip past this to the the we'll, Okay, we'll, we'll pause here before we have to actually so that the walls the room doesn't start facing out on us again. So the what I was gonna say earlier was that the whole the, the the concept they seem to be going for with Kamashita is the idea of oh he's super important and valuable to the school so you know we kind of look the other way for some of his more questionable decision making processes <laughs> and uh not all that uncommon sadly because there was um when i was in high school there was a teacher i'm not not just to be clear so like kamashita while it's not technically confirmed i think there's some pretty strong hints that he's having sexual relationships with with minors and his students so yeah really shitty person and just to be clear, the person I'm, I'm going to talk about is not on that level. Like, the, 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 the teacher I'm going to describe is not, to my knowledge anyway, wasn't having sexual relationships with, with, with students. I'm not going to, not, not trying to insinuate that by any means. But what I am going to say is he was kind of a shitty person anyway. Because the way he talked to everyone was terrible. He was constantly dismissive of everyone. He was constantly, he, he picked, the way he worked is he picked one student from each grade. So, with each, he was a, he was an engineering teacher. And each group of kids... So, as he, he, he taught all the engineering classes, obviously, the engineering teacher. So, what he did is each, each year, obviously, he had a new grade come in, and then he picked one kid out of that grade who was, like, his golden child. He supported them in every opportunity, uh, went, out of, went out of his way to help them every, every step of the way, and basically just propped them up as, like, his own son or daughter, essentially. And that was that. But everyone else... Everyone else is like peasants to him. They're all they were all completely moronic compared to him. They're all stupid, meaningless as far as he was concerned. So basically you just felt like you were worthless when you were when he was talking to you. Also, some of my friends, whenever the whenever my friends would go in for advising sessions, like, you know, parent teacher conferences kind of thing, um, he would be condescending towards their parents. It's like, alright, now you've gone a step even further beyond. Like you you were already you already crossed the line, but now you've like leapt into a different dimension past the line. And, and, but even worse than that was he was demeaning about the kids' parents to the kids' faces, not in front of the parents. Like, he was just a terrible, horrible, awful, no good, very bad teacher. And he wasn't even all that bright. He was, well, okay, maybe, maybe he was. You know what, I, 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 won't, I won't go that far. Maybe he, was, maybe he actually was super smart, but he was a terrible teacher. He had no idea how to commute. He thinks everything, he thinks it all made sense. Like, in his head, it probably all makes sense, but what he's saying doesn't track logically. No, you, 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 there's no way to follow logically what he's actually saying because he doesn't communicate anything. And when you ask a question, like, when you go up to him and say, hey, I have a question about how this is, like, what? I can't, I'm not going to help you with that. Figure it out yourself. It's like... I'm not asking for the damn answer. I'm helping you. I'm asking you for help in figuring out your broken logic that you just pasted onto the damn whiteboard. But they kept him. At the, because he, let's be clear, people complain about this. Like students, teachers, sorry, students, parents, people complain about him. But the reason why he never got fired, the reason why he's still working at that school to this very day, is because he's very well respected in his field, and he's. Like, he has a lot of accolades to, to go for him. So, basically, the school thinks that, may, that they can overlook all the things he's done, all the, the, the way in which he treats his students, uh, because he's a really talented engineering 
professor person, even though that's not even technically true, but it's like, the idea being that they think he's irreplaceable, so they keep him on even in spite of the way he treats people, and I'm guessing that's, it's, so, kind of getting that vibe from what's happening over here with Kamoshida is it's like, oh, Kamoshida's a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad person who does awful things to students, but he led the volleyball team to the championship or whatever, so gotta keep him on board, and it's just awful, but it happens, unfortunately, so it sucks. Anyway, in a safe room, you can console with your teammates and save your game by pressing options. You can also save at the palace entrance. Old cat. Okay, so basically, so the so basically, this is gonna be like a dungeon crawler kind of thing where there's gonna be palaces throughout the game, and th this is the point of no return. Like once we pass by this point, it's the point of no return. Okay, so well, in that case, in case I get absolutely wiped by whatever the hell we're about to, still still tutorial mode by the way. But in case I get absolutely wiped by whatever the hell we're about to face, let's save just in case. Okay, uh, let's go. Should still be soldiers outside. Let's take note of the situation and get out there. Thought I just heard something move over there. I guess it was my imagination. And what of the slaves? They're all in the training hall. I'd assume they're screaming in pain by now. Very well, by the way, I heard we may have intruders around. Stay on your guard. Hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah, they're in the training hall. It's a training hall, right? I think that's just a little further ahead. Let's go. Alright, so, so long as one of us knows how to get there, because I certainly don't. There's a guard on duty here. The way to the training hall should be just beyond those bars. So, what are we gonna do? Do we gotta fight it? Seems like it. Just don't let it notice you beforehand. If it does, the palace's security level will rise. When you are spotted by an enemy, the security level will rise. This is shown in a gauge in the upper left. As the security level rises, it will become more difficult to investigate the palace, so be careful. Uh, and what do we do, what do, we do if that happens? Run away? Well, the security level will go back down if we can beat more enemies without getting noticed. That sounds, uh, complicated. Fine. I'll put together some info about the security level. This is crucial to successful palace infiltration. So make sure you actually read it, okay? Security level, security level reduction, and Zubas and security level are part of the tutorial menu. Tutorials you have seen before can be viewed in the main menu at press triangle to open the menu and select system and then tutorial. Hmm. Okay. You don't see it's the time be- Uh, Nope. You are blind as a bat. He's literally standing in the doorway. No, okay, we escaped that one. Hey! Did that count as an ambush? I don't know if that counted as an ambush. I think he turned, I, he might have turned at the last second. No, okay, they count, okay, phew. That was close. I, he turned, like, last second he turned towards us. Okay, now's our chance to strike. Go! Also, there's a button to change tactics. I don't know what that, well, I mean, obviously it's implicit in the name, right? Change tactics. But I don't know what that means in the context of Persona. Also, thank you for targeting Morgana, not me. Help. Okay, change tactics. Analysis, view enemy info. Give instructions or flee from battle. What does it mean to give instructions to some? Okay, or, I mean, oh, oh, wait, can I, so I can tell him what to, oh, 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 that's helpful. Oh, that's awesome. That's incredibly aw, okay. The amount of times, oh, the amount of times, so, the amount of times in, mm, I, I've played RPGs in the past where the a, your AI is brain dead and has no goddamn clue what they're doing. Uh, so, like, you do something and you ho you just have to hope that they do they do something to jive with what you've done. But no, I, I can actually control directly what, what, what my teammates do. That's awesome. I'm not going to use it now because I don't think I need to. But the fact that this is an option, that's very helpful. That is very useful to know. Okay. Very glad that I decided to check it out early so I know that it's there. Alright, there's one down and one to go. So let's go ahead and get some strikes in. Okay, Morgana's doing- Morgana's pretty low on health. But, okay, so I think I might be able to get a finishing blow in here. And... Oh, one pixel- okay, Morgana's very low. Okay, I might- might have to heal Morgana. Nice, or at least- I, I might actually set her- Cause I can do- uh, Well, actually, I can't do that much damage. I, I, I guess I need- I, I guess I should- I guess- Cause it seems like she does more damage than I do, so I guess I should focus- I should be the one to heal her, or so- I keep- I keep saying her, sorry, I'm just- I keep, I keep getting tripped up because it's- it's Hina's voice actor- or voice actress doing the vo doing the voice, and so I keep- I keep getting tripped up, sorry, I meant to say, it's- I- He should- he should be the one to do the damage, while I do- I should be the one to heal because I do less damage than he does, so... Yeah, I guess I'll- we'll- we'll- we'll, we'll tinker, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how this goes. Alright. Making some progress. Uh, da, da, da. No one back there. Okay, look for the training hall. Is the training hall in here? 
I'm gonna go with a no, since that door wasn't getting us anywhere. Alright, on toward the training hall. This way or this way? Where does this go? The answer would be nowhere. That that door goes absolutely nowhere. Okay, well, I guess we know where we're going next. We're going down in this direction. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, have you seen anyone who looks like an intruder? No, nobody yet. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then what do we do? Should we try and take him down like before? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. I... I see. Sorry. Damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. <sighs> Such a loser. Huh? Do you mean that gun? Yeah. It looks real and all, but... It doesn't shoot anything. I see. Well, there is a way. Okay. We'll use that to take down the enemies. What? Were you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. Yeah, like I said, we'll, 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 we'll just blink them to death. If they don't want to attack us, we'll blink them to death. Don't worry. I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair. Just trust me. Let's do this. Wait, dude. Uh, I keep saying it's not going to fire anything. Gun attacks. Gun attacks are considered a gun skill. Press up on the D-pad to ready your gun, and then X to attack. Okay. Interesting. You can continue shooting until you run out of ammunition. You can also change targets between shots with the D-pad arrows. Okay. Uh, well, I guess there's only one thing we can do, so give it a shot. Oh. So I just keep doing... Okay. Uh, am I gonna have exact? Uh, I missed. Oh crap! Uh oh, I think I'm out of fire too fast. Uh, well, I mean, you kind of built up to it, so not, maybe not surprised, but just uh, I think I was supposed to be able to kill them. I, I, I think they might have given me the exact amount of ammo I needed to, to take them both out, and I just missed the shot. So I oh, might have screwed that one up. Gun properties and ammo restoration. Guns have a higher attack power than melee weapons, but they have a limited amount of, excuse me, ammunition. Your ammunition will be restored after the battle, so, oh. Oh, well then this is, no, oh, okay, so there's literally no reason to not. What the? You have a slingshot? Okay. Alright then. So there's literally no reason to not just immediately empty the, empty the gun. If, if it restores after every battle, I'll just, I'll just use that every single time. Without, without fail. This is a cognitive world. As long as our opponent sees it as real, it becomes such. It's a good thing it's realistic looking. I don't get it. Because they recognize it as a gun, your ammo capacity is limited in battle. But your enemies are expecting you to come at them with guns loaded, so your ammo is replenished in every new fight. What's this commotion? Oh, oh well, I guess it's time to blink him to death again. You're right, here comes another one. Again, since the, since the ammo always replenishes... Yeah, like I said, I can just do this, and then boom, 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 and just keep doing this. Yeah, it's just... I'll, I'll just do that. I mean, I'm I obviously, at some point, it's that's not gonna work. Like, obviously, at some point, I'm gonna have to use things other than the gun. But I still may as well just use the gun out of the gate every time. Just, you know, since it since the ammo punches every time. If, if, it, if, it'd be, if it was a thing where you have to actually, you know conserve your ammo and pick up new ammo as you go throughout the the, the palace or whatever then obviously i'd be have to conserve it but if it's gonna replenish every time then I, I, i'm pretty sure i'm just good to to use it out of the gate in every battle without remorse nice. we're definitely lucky to have the additional firearm in our arsenal i must say well done even if it was just dumb luck that it worked here did you really have to put it like that quit griping blondie you're still getting praised oh by the way you should decide how we divvy up our, our roles in battle from here on out as you can see, there are quite a lot of enemies. It'll be important to coordinate our moves well. I can keep providing an intel for us, but you should decide how we fight, Frizzy here. What do you mean by how we fight? Well, uh, basically what we do in battle. How you can order us directly or let us decide what we do. I guess I'm the only, only one fighting right now. Okay, I, I think I... I think I, Yeah, I gathered this moment myself. Yep, I noticed this. Change tactics pressing. Yep, got this. Okay. What's the plan? Following orders or acting on my own? 
Right now, I want you to do your own thing. Yes. Because you seem to be doing a great job with that. But I imagine, because I can change it at any time, I imagine the further into the game we get, the more I'm going to want to change that decision. I... Oh, hi! I... Well, so much for an ambush. Okay, well... Oh, God. I've, I've blundered. I've blundered massively. I was not expecting an enemy around the corner. I, I screwed the pooch hardcore on that one. Okay. So, what I was going to say before I, blew, before I blew that one was, um... The, what, like, what, I can see that once we, at, once we get more party members, I'm gonna wanna see, alright, you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that. But for the time being, it's two of us, you're doing fine on your own, and it's literally still the tutorial, so, it's episode three, by the way, still in tutorial mode. But I, I imagine that I think you'll be fine, just fine on your own for the time being. If an enemy takes your party by surprise, you may find yourself at a disadvantage at the start of the battle. In this situation, not only will the enemy gain a brand of attack, but you will also be unable to escape the battle. Okay, well, I think we're just- I think we're just dead. I think what happens here is- oh, so we're just dead. Okay, so, um, I guess we'll just use this out of the gate. Um, nice. And, okay, that's one down. Uh, okay, and that's not two down, but at least I got one of them out. Now you do your thing, maybe, maybe you can finish off the one that I started. I- I- okay, you have another one. Good, I, cause I was- I was worried there for a second. I was worried for a second because you you didn't attack the oh wow so you oh never mind you just absolutely abs see this is what I mean by me wanting you to let you do your own thing for now because you're just absolutely wrecking face but uh yeah so point point being I was worried when you only I thought you only had one attack so I was worried there for a second because you didn't attack the one that I already dealt damage to it was like oh what are you doing but then I you had a second one so I'm like okay so you are you are okay in doing your own thing for the time being we'll see how quick uh, we'll see. How long it takes me to change that, but for now, we're fine. Because now I need to actually know to be careful around corners. So I don't get... So that, so that doesn't happen again. Oh. A guard. I'm pretty sure that's where we need to be going, too. You guys gonna take it down again? I guess that's our only choice. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna teach you two a special way to fight enemies. Something like that. Let's go. There's a distinct flow to battles. Let me show you. After all, seeing is... something. First, knock down all the enemies. Everything starts at that crucial step. Okay. Well, we only have one choice, so uh, I guess we'll do this. Alright. What does an all-out attack consist of? Oh. So this is like, this is like a, oh my god. Oh. So that's basically just the delete button then, okay. So that, that's the, let's all team up, wow. So that's, that'd be what I call overkill, in a situation like that, but I can see how that would be useful, uh, if there were more than one enemy, and an enemy that takes more than one <sighs> one skill to go down. What was that super move thing you just did? I think you just described it perfectly. A super move. I told you, it's called an all-out attack. If you manage to knock all the enemies down, you might be able to use it to beat them all at once. Yeah, that was over quick. It's a concentrated attack on defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. You can initiate an all-out attack from a holdup by pressing triangle. All-out attacks are ultimate attacks which deal heavy damage to all foes. However, you cannot use one if I cannot act or if only I can act. Strike the enemy's weakness, knock them all down, then do an all-out attack. That's the ideal pattern. Tutorials you have seen before can be viewed. Yeah, 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 okay. Alright, I think I'm starting to get to hang this a little bit more. Uh, let's see, should we keep going a little bit further? Uh, actually, I think, I think, we'll, I think we'll end right here. Because Morgana said this is where we need to be going, right? So I'm assuming, I'm assuming the training hole's on the other side of that door. Which means I'm also assuming that we're gonna, also, what is Morgana doing? It looks like Morgana's just like... Okay, so, from this angle, from this angle, it looks like she was trying to run into the wall. I guess he's just, I guess he's just strutting in, in place or whatever. I feel like there's gonna be some major battle on the other side of this wall. Because, you know, uh, Morgana said, hey, we have to go, we have to get through there. I'm guessing that's going to be where the training hall is, so I think we'll stop here. We're, we're at an hour, also we're at an hour for the episode, so I think we'll stop right here. And then tomorrow, we'll, we'll pick back up 
with this, and then we will continue on our quest through the through the palace, and hopefully we'll be able to break out all the people that were kidnapped. So that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next time. We'll catch you all tomorrow for some more Persona 5 Royal. Goodbye.